Uh, this course in uh, Mark Twain will begin on Tuesday, the 13th of September at 1 o'clock with uh, Neil Lambert and Sam Clemens. I titled the course Sam Clemens, Mark Twain, and America, the Literary Struggles of America's Most Distinctive Writer. I call him most distinctive because he's probably the most famous and really had a, a powerful impact on the course of the whole of American literature. As no less uh, a writer than Hemingway said, all American literature is related to one book by Mark Twain. That was Huckleberry Finn. But rather than uh, just focus on one of the several books for which Mark Twain is rightly famous, uh, I had thought it might be well this year to look at his whole life and career and some of the things outside of his works that made him the writer that he was. For instance, uh, uh, when he, he really began as a newspaper, uh, as a printer, then as a newspaper reporter and traveler and uh, lived a bohemian life in San Francisco with Bret Hart and others and really never became famous as a writer or well known as a, a writer until the Jumping Frog story was published in the East. And he came back from reporting a trip of pilgrims to the Holy Land and sat and met the woman who was to become his wife. And uh, the, from that point on, Mark Twain truly developed with his, uh, as a writer. And so we'll be looking at the effect of his wife, Livy, and his daughters on his writing. His, he, he, they had a, a profound effect in his I inspiration, in his direction. Uh, and without their, without the, the influence of his home, he would have never become the writer that he was. So in the course, we will be looking at his famous things, uh, some of his famous things, the, uh, <clears throat> his travel works, and of course his novels. We will mention uh, Life on the Mississippi and other travel books. Look closely at uh, some of the novels and uh, look closely again at Huck Finn and some, and, and also take a look at some of his last words, which were very dark and in the tragedy of his life was reflected in some of his works. Well, that's uh, what I hope we could accomplish by sort of, if you will, skipping a rock across the water of the Mississippi and picking up uh, almost the whole life of Mark Twain during the course not just the perhaps of this semester, but if things go well, we could continue on through the next semester as well. So I look forward to meeting you on Tuesdays at uh, one o'clock, uh, those of you who might be interested, and uh, we will take it from there. Thank you.